new family, so I went ahead and I went outside and I collected all these different things. Some things I plucked with my hands and some things I had to use scissors for. Um, I'm going to let the parents decide on that. Um, but for the most part, there was lots of different colors. There was lots of different textures. Um, I pulled from the weeds, from the trees, from the bushes, from <laughs> the front yard and the backyard. And depending on where you live, maybe there's a park around you, you can take small things. Um, but we're going to create a little mandala with this. So if you're at home and you don't know what a mandala is, it's basically a pattern of concentric circles. So we need something that goes in the middle. So I'm looking around and I want something that I probably don't have a lot of. So I'm probably going to use one of my acorns, my little baby acorns. And then I'm going to take something I do have a lot of, which is these leaves, and I'm going to find similar sizes, and I'm going to have them face out. Now, the leaves are slightly covered in pollen, which is fine. You can wash them off when you take them inside. <laughs> you can um, wash them off outside, make it a small activity. But um, I just left mine. I personally, it doesn't bother me, um, but I will wash my hands after and um, make sure that I get all the germs that were outside off. So now I have something that looks almost like a flower. And that's only t one circle. So we want lots of circles. So then I'm going to come over and I'm going to get these small little branches of flower buds. Now I normally don't take flower buds because of bees and other pollinators. I would really like to leave the new or soon to be new flowers where they can find them. Um, but I did find a lot of flowering plants today, so I didn't think it would be too bad if I took a few. Now, I have one in between each leaf. I'm gonna put that back. But I don't know how I feel about that yet either. So I think I'm gonna take some of these little green flowers that I found out on my tree. And I have a lot of stuff facing outward, so I might have this facing inward. And I'm gonna put this in between or all the way around. I'm not really gonna pay attention to the exact placement, just as long as it's a nice big circle. So these were on a branch in a tree and I cut them off because they were pretty easy, but they would also be easy to pull. I just didn't wanna risk the integrity of the flower or um, possibly bruise it because I really like the way that the petals were folded. Um, you can tell that I'm having to move some, that's okay. Nature is not perfect and neither are we. So adjustments are all right. If you're a friend that's been working with the table of Pythagoras or the hundred board, or even your number beads, you're practicing this movement, this three finger pincher grip, as well as controlling your body so you don't bump the rest of your work and have to start all over again. So this is a really good activity. So for my movers and shakers, if you are having trouble staying on one side, make sure that you're at least picking up your feet around whatever you've placed um, underneath your mandala or Make sure that you stand up back all the way up and go big circle around your mandala like you're the final circle um, just to protect it so that you don't have to start over. So I'm almost done. We have one, two, three circles 
around one acorn. So let's see if we can get it a little bit bigger. So I see this light green and I see some light green in these cherry blossoms over here. These were pulling off, pulled off a cherry blossom tree. Now I'm going to lay these like a wreath. So they're going to overlay each other. They're not going to be perfect. Some might still have the long stem on. I can just snap that off. And if they're bunching out, that's okay. Like I said, nothing perfect. And some areas might be a little thicker than others, which is okay. Because a uh, circle curves. So it, it's not an ebb and flow, but a curve is good. started wandering into my room with flowers. I don't want to lose those. So I used up all of my pink flowers, but I don't want to be done. So I'm just pulling them slightly apart. Just small little adjustments. Not the end of the world. It still looks relatively um, packed. I'm going to come in over here. If I want to, I could even come back in and add some of my big red flowers in between the pink flowers, which can add a little bit more texture in those spots where the branches are. Now again, these are flowering flowers, so they are cut from a bush. I don't think they're an azalea. I can't remember what they are right now, but I chose the ones that were already open and blossomed because these are ones that have released their pollen. Um, bees have had a chance to come visit them, and now it's time for the ones that were growing up underneath them to have a chance. So. I didn't feel too bad about getting these ones off the bush and there's still plenty, plenty more. So now I'm going to come over and bring you to the mandala. So this is the mandala as I see it right now. Now let's see if I can get you a good spot to sit. So I pull this over here and just like that. Not too shabby. Okay. So now you get a little bit of a closer look. So I have a ton of leaves left. Um, I have some little yellow leaves. So I'm going to pull these all over. So these were things that I sorted in a big basket. Um, I had just picked everything at random. And then um, when I got inside... I sorted them and that was a lot of fun for me. I thought that, um, you know, putting them in the basket was kind of stressful because I was worried about all the different colors and the different plants, but it gave me an opportunity when I came inside to explore all the different colors and plants that I had gathered and textures and um, things that you know, looked really nice together. I could sort, put the piles next to each other so I could see the different colors. It was really, really um, beautiful. So if you have experience with your color tablets or with um, art, which I know most of you have, if not all of you, then I fully trust that you guys will be able to use that 
um, knowledge of color to create an even more beautiful mandala this, than this one here. And I hope that you'll share them. Um, and if you're a boy or a girl who doesn't want to build a mandala, see, I understand that. I was kind of scared of it. So if you want to build something else, a castle, a car, um, a house, or an animal out of these leaves, kind of like our book Leaf Man, which I can share later today, um, it would be really awesome to see that on Instagram or email. Um, and let us know what you made because each of you has such awesome and different ideas that I couldn't possibly comprehend. So this is a bigger circle, so it takes more time. So maybe you want to stop and take a snack here. I kind of want to, but for the video, I guess I won't. Um, so we're going to keep, keep going. And if you're a really, really good counter, this is an awesome opportunity to count. So let's see how many we have left. Let's see that we have this space left. So starting now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh -oh. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, Twenty one. Oh, one more. Twenty two. So you can see where we kind of got a little bit of a corner here, which is okay. Just kind of push it in. So now we have one, two, three, four five circles around one tiny pine cone, which is kind of silly when you think about it. So I don't know what to put all the way around this. I have some more leaves right here. Let's see if I have enough. So you can see all the pollen on them. I kind of like the idea of putting it out I'm making this look like one big sunflower. So I think I'm gonna alternate between big, small, big, small. What do you think is gonna come next? Yep, big, small. What do you think? Big, it's gonna come next. Big, small, big, small, big, small. Oh, I was done with the other leaves. Big, small. We have one small, well, it's kind of a medium leaf, so that works kind of perfect. So some of them are more spaced out, so I can spread them out some more. 
And I think it looks kind of like a sunflower from one of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. Because he always liked painting sunflowers. So let's see. What do you think? Do you think we can fit one more circle? Maybe we could fit something in between the leaves instead. Let's look. What can we put in between those leaves? Well, first we have, this is our first space. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen spaces. Oh, I feel like a clock. Seventeen spaces. So whatever I put there, there has to be seventeen of it. So I have these really pretty pink flowers that I have not used yet. Let's see if I can make them work. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we had 17 spaces, we filled them all, and then we had one, two, three left. What do you think? Do you think you guys would build one at home? 